welcome back to my channel with Lupita Ide. Thank you so much for stopping by. Like I already mentioned, my name is Lupita. I am a single mother of four plus one, my little brother. And I am currently working on my debt-free journey. I started uh, serious about my debt about a year ago. I'm actually going to do one year this month. Um, at the end of the month, I don't know exactly the day, but... I am so happy to say that I have been working on my debt for a whole year straight. Um, I have had ups and downs, but at the end, um, I keep coming back up. I've been spending, but at the end, I pay it back. Um, you know, we have ups and downs, and I've had those, so... Today I'm going to do my cash envelopes and the reason why I went ahead and started um, before recording is because usually this takes a long, long time and I wanted a little bit of time to show you guys something that I've been working on, which is actually sitting right under my tripod. Now I'm going to have to move it. <laughs> I had not noticed I had put it. Uh, I have put my tripod because I have to put my tripod in, on top of a chair so that the angle can be like recording like this. Here's the reason why I went ahead and did my my setup before. I want to show you guys the envelopes I've been working on. I'm actually going to change some of them. So we are having like a cash envelope video slash setup cash envelope something like that so um i'm gonna take out my money that i'm gonna use i have not counted i have i mean i only put the numbers of the balances i want on the envelopes on my variable envelopes so i'm i didn't get any change because i know i have change on my weekly challenge envelopes so I'll be getting change from these, okay? That's only if needed. Okay, so I'm gonna take out my envelopes from here. Guys, I am behind with my videos and my cash envelopes and everything because I've been working on some other stuff. I've been working on stickers. I wanted to start selling some stickers but my program is working very slow. I'm using the Cricut program. And so I kind of paused that. And then I started doing some... Somebody's gonna be missing $5. I started working on some new envelopes, which it was giving me hard time trying to upload them to my um, shop, uh, which now they're up, okay? They're not on Etsy, they are on my Shopify store so if you want to check that out go ahead so i'm going to be changing these envelopes to the new ones which you're about to see these are my new items on my shopify store i did not put them on etsy there you go they are colored, cleared, see-through cash envelopes. And I decided to categorize, well, however you say that, Bruh. to put the category on the envelope um, versus putting a shape or an image like I did with these. So what do you guys think? I have more colors. I only did those three for me because I want to change only these three. But I decided to do one of each color to show you guys. So here we have gold. This one is not clear, okay? So if you choose gold, have in mind that these are not cleared. And if you happen to buy them, um, you have to open them. Like, you know, be patient because this material is very thin. So after coming from lamination, I, I open them and I make sure I, I do this so that it's not stuck. 
and it's not see the inside is silver there you go and then I have well this is gold then I have silver and it's silver on the inside this one is also not clear okay and then we have I think this is orange this one is clear that's the inside and I made them a little bit bigger because I know a lot of people like to you know put in a lot of bills so on um, why I think it's seven yeah it's still seven without the lam laminating but height is three point something I forgot the something so it's you know it's still three but three something um, here let me show you an example of the three here, I'll use this one that doesn't have cash inside. I'm going to show you the back of it. This is a three without counting the bottom part. And you know, so it's not as big. It's a little bit. Okay. So that's that. So I have the orange and then here's the yellow. This I made them just to show you guys this one came out a little bit wrinkled so i'm not selling this one like i said i made them to show you guys this one is purple and magenta i think it is but it's pink it's like a hot pink okay those are the colors i have besides the ones i'm gonna use I hope you guys like them. Check them out on my Shopify. They run summer. I think it's two dollars, two dollars or two twenty-five to three something, depending on the font you guys want. And well, you guys can just go ahead and check it out. We're gonna go. I've been working on these as well. These are sets of six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one. This one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so these are already made, ready to send. They are not hole punch, just regular um, or regular wallets. These are double sided paper that I used. I bought this paper on Cricut.com in case you guys want to purchase the paper and made them um, yourself. They are um, double sided which it makes the quality look better I guess. And these are sets of six. And I like this kind of paper because it's thick paper. It's, it, it's you know, sturdy. Um, not like the other ones. Initially doing this kind of material, which is like, I don't know. I removed these from my Etsy shop. I don't sell them anymore. I do send them free once in a while. I put in one or two in each order. I don't want to throw them, so I'd rather give them away. And it's these that you guys have been seeing on my cash envelopes. These, So, you know, they're still good. You know, I've been having these in my wallet ever since I started doing cash envelopes. And they they are working great. They, I'm going to change them and they're still in very good shape. Um, with the exception of multiple <laughs> hole punching. But other than that, they're good. Um, so I'm going to put this away. I always say I'm not going to do my videos long, but it's like the faster I move and speak, the faster time goes. 
so we're gonna start with uh, lunch okay and lunch is empty so I'm gonna add 15 because I want 15 so I'll just do this okay and then my nails my nails envelope is lost because I don't use it oh here you go and I have zero if you've been watching me please write down in the comments what is it that I do with those $15 if you've been following me? I want to see how many of you have been following me on this journey. Since the coronavirus started, what have I been doing with this envelope? Uh, okay, now we're going to go. So we have zero, right? And then I added 15 and then laundry laundry is empty but if you remember last time i put 30 and that's what i'm gonna put this time but i did mention that i'm using the coins from my savings so i still have one little packet so i'm gonna use that and i'm only gonna put because i want 30 so i have 10 so i'm just gonna put 20 to make the 10 of course i'm not gonna put this in here right but plus 30. you want to see that video when i counted all my savings um go watch it um i'll try to link it on this on the description down below okay um so that's 30 and i had zero and then my cleaning supplies one two three four five six seven eight i'm starting with eight and i won 15 that means i only need to add so I'm adding seven. I'm just gonna put this here and I'll add the 15. One, two, three. There you go. In case I need dollar bills down the road, which I doubt. Now I'm gonna do eating out. So I have zero and I want 40. I do surprise my kids with either Jack in the Bog or Taco Bell, which is like their favorites. Um, so 40. Okay, and then for fun, I'm not adding. I just remember something. I need another $100, which I have on other envelope. My kid's dad gave them. I don't have my fun envelope. I'm not using it right now, so. Zero. For my hair, I have zero. But where is my hair money? Found it. There's zero. And I want 10. So I'm adding 10, okay? So 10. There you go. So I'm gonna put this away in my wallet, well, my purse, because whenever I go wash, I'm gonna need it. I'm done with my variables. Now I'm gonna go to my children's envelopes which are these right here. And these are the ones that we're gonna change into these envelopes, but they have their cash. 
Here, so their dad gave me a hundred dollars, but I have not changed them. I'm gonna change them. Let me see how much I have here. This money, by the way, is from my masks. I've been selling masks. I don't promote them or anything. That's just like on my free time. If I make five masks and I haven't to sell them, well, then there you go and stuff like that. So there's... Okay. Sorry, the money is all over the place. It's not nicely... arranged so 40 50 60 70 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 i need ten dollars more i'll just deduct it will it will come back so i'm gonna put this 100 i know that it's 10 less and I'm going to use 90. I'll just put the 10 from here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There. Okay. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 100. Okay. So, I'm going to put this money there. Just separating it so I don't get confused. And we're going to start with um, Miss Brian. So, Brian's supposed to have 25 according to her sheet. Bye bye envelope. And she has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ah, there was $5 flying. I don't know who they were. I knew somebody was going to be missing 5 that's exactly five. She has always been with one dollar over. So, I, and I keep telling her we're going to do something with that dollar. Either add it to the sheet or put it in her savings, which I spoke to them yesterday because they both, her and Nathan, have um, more money than what they should have in their envelope. But, you know, I want them to have uh, like ten, fifteen dollars They're only seven and ten years old. Um and they have more than that, so I'm trying to have them um, choose. Okay, I'm going to keep this in my envelope, and this is going to go to my piggy bank. They both have a piggy bank. Um, so she has 25, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then the dollar that is swinging. And then dad plus 25, so it's... 50 so starting balance 25 I'm gonna leave that dollar swinging plus 25 dad 50 oh that was battery okay so Brian I am not giving them money because I am short on cash. Right now, I'm my days are very short, so I am actually glad that he was able to give me money for them. He gave me a hundred dollars, and he told me split them on on four. Um, I did say that that is not giving Valerie any more money, but I'm talking about from now and on. This last hundred, yes, I'm gonna divide it on four. Um, so I'm adding 25 and I'm giving her 20 just so it can be easier for her to choose what is she going to keep and what is she going to put on the piggy bank. Probably she'll choose to put the 20 
on the piggy bank. You never know. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and the dollar swinging. Okay, so it's gonna go in her new envelope and her budget sheet as well. And ta -da! this is how it looks. And this is how it looks. Okay, we're gonna put this aside. Now we're gonna go to Nathan. Nathan, his budget sheet is all, it doesn't match with what he has. We don't know how he got money. We don't know. The point is, it says 39, but he has, I believe, more than that. So he has 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So I'm just going to start him here at. 34 and I don't even know if I wrote it on Brian's so plus 25 will give him 59 okay so I'm adding 25 I'm doing the same thing putting the bigger bills so that when they choose what are they going to do they choose the big bills 10 20 30 40 50 55 56 57 58 50. oh this is more okay no wait I did my numbers wrong. Here. So this one is supposed to be 44, not 34. So he has 69. Okay. So 10, 20, 20. 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. There you go. So this one is going to go here. And I think I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to have them come from there. I'm just going to do Denise's and that's it. So Denise, it says she has 20. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So hers is correct. Plus 25 equals 45 from dad. So. I'm going to change this bill here and I'll put this one. Okay, so 25. 
There you go. See, these envelopes have more bills in it than my other ones. And I like that, you know. It doesn't come off or anything. See? I like them. There you go. Now, Valerie, I'll just give her her 25. I was not keeping up with my sheet. So, uh, starting balance here, 44 plus 25 equals 69. And then Denise, she started with 20 plus 25 equals 45. Now we're gonna go to our sinking funds. Oh, and then kids. Kids, I still have the 20, and I am adding zero. So I'm gonna leave it blank, and it's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We haven't gone out or anything. You know, this I wanted for like Lotes, which you guys just heard, they passed by, but nobody's knocking my door or anything. So if they don't ask, I don't give. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was my children's envelope. Now we're gonna go to Christmas. For Christmas, I have I'm supposed to have 40 same for Denise so I'm supposed to have 40 and I want to add I'll add 20 I no 10 I'm still gonna keep doing 10 so I'll have 50 here same thing okay so 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 31, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So now I'm going to write it here. I miss four plus ten equals fifty Christmas and then Denise's. 15th party if there is one I don't even know what day is today guys 10 equals 50 I forgot to put to values 25 aside yeah 25 there so, 10 for Denise. So, 10. Five, four, six, four, seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. I already added. There you go. So that's for my sinking funds.
here's Valerie's and I have this left so I'm gonna use my leftover for my um, 50 week challenge so I'm gonna go get some more out on the to the bank 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 28. I was planning on using my my masks money for cash envelopes or what's it called? My weekly challenges, but I have to start putting this money into my budget to see where it goes um, so I'm just gonna keep it aside and when I get paid I'll just add this whatever it is that I make because right here is gonna be minus 10 that goes here um, I'm just gonna add it as um, income additional income um, so yeah so this is what I have left this is for Valerie and this is how my cash envelopes are looking so from my pocket it came or from my tax money because I didn't have left for on my paycheck so I said I was gonna use from my tax refund that I, I had put away which is getting smaller guys I have I think by the time I'm done paying everything I think I'm just gonna have like $700 left and I had put away like 2000 plus the 1000 that I didn't use for a field trip wow so 77 here and minus Twenty five, and you'll see why. Okay, and then here, and that's not mine, and here twenty. So total from my pocket I spelled I spelled pocket wrong but anyway I'm trying to hurry <laughs> okay so I spend 77 plus 20 97 $97 into cash envelopes this was um, my kids father's money it's my money and that's my money now for those of you that answered on the question that I asked earlier, if you know what do I do with this envelope, I want to thank you if you did. If no one did, okay, well, I guess, you know, different people watches my videos or probably they don't pay attention. <laughs> so what do I do with this money? Am I doing my nails? It's obvious I'm not doing my nails. Uh, am I cutting my hair? I am not cutting my hair, guys. I shaved the side of my head, and I cannot keep up with that, so I decided to let it grow again until everything comes back to normal. I cannot go cut my hair. Yes, I can cut it myself, but I'd rather save the money. And I'm going to show you guys what I do. If you already know and you did comment it, thank you so much. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. This money is going to come here as if I spend it. Okay? Because if I decide not to put that money in the envelopes or wait until the nail shop opens or until the hair shop opens, I mean, I can be doing something with this money, okay? So I'm going to put these two envelopes money in my savings box. Okay? As you can see, there is already a couple in there that I've done in the past. So here's my 15 from my nails. And here is my 10 from 
my hair and I have to find a way to sorry squeeze that in and that's why you guys won't see a lot because I've been squishing it down see there you go I don't know when I'm gonna open it but whenever I do I'll do another video on it and again I'm gonna use it towards my debt so whenever I open this baby it's gonna be good money for my debt okay okay guys so thank you so much for staying with me let me sure just show you guys how the envelopes look Now the wallet that I have, I'm going to link it on the description as well, but this is how they look. It fits good. Okay guys, so the reason why I called you guys is because you guys have a lot of money in your envelope and you guys have piggy banks yeah you guys have the piggy bank so i want you guys to choose how much you guys are gonna put in your piggy banks if you guys want to put money away okay so nathan you have 69 dollars because you know remember plus the 25 of your dad so 69 how much do you want to keep in the envelope and how much do you want to put on the piggy bank I wanna put here you choose the bills that you wanna put in the piggy bank. From all of this you're just gonna put that. Look you have 10, 20, 30, 40, you have a lot of money there. 50. And then Brian you have 20. Oh wait. Yeah, you say put money in there, and it's kind of a lot. I think I have. Brian, you have fifty. Oh, fifty. Mm. I'll put twenty-five in my piggy bank. You're gonna put twenty-five in your piggy bank. I'm gonna do half, yeah, and then twenty-five in here. Okay. Here, you you choose. <laughs> again thank you for watching i'll see you again on my next video bye bye